wanna know who the best realtor in OKC is? Everybody's hand should be up. But here's what I can tell you. A short period of time, you can, do, you can do so much, right? So I've had 25 years of government experience, law enforcement and military included. Um, I've done, I've helped over uh, 160 uh, families, uh, veteran, most of them, and uh, uh, law enforcement. I have a very, very strict passion for those individuals. I think that they're uh, spurs against, marginalized, and a couple other bad words. But that's just me, right? But I'm here for all, because my service is to provide and I am service oriented, so that's why. But at the core of it all, we are all served. Before real estate, I had a long career at the Union Pacific Railroad. So I worked at the railroad, guys. Real estate is my second career. Um, so I worked at the railroad for 12 years and had a, had a great career, right? Why would you leave the railroad? I was in sales, I got to travel the country, six figure income, um, but I believed in myself and I wanted to bet on myself. And There's this book by Robert Kiyosaki where he talks about something that really resonated with me. He says, don't just climb the ladder, own the ladder. And that really hit me. Because all our lives were programmed to apply to that job, get the education, climb the corporate ladder, follow the politics, keep climbing the corporate ladder, don't ask for help, do it by yourself. But why? Why do we climb the ladder when we can own our ladder? I want to hear you say, I am the architect of my life! Now we come on, I the energy, I am the architect of my life! I can't hear you, I am the architect of my life! Say it with me, I am the architect of my life! I was in a six-figure job. But I would sit in those meetings and I'm like, why am I here? This is going nowhere. This is going nowhere. So I got into real estate. I got in part time. You have to chase your dream, guys. And that's why, like for me, I found out very early that uh, my joy came from seeing other people win. And that's why I pour into Soraya. That's why I pour into everybody on my team. And it touches me when I hear that they're able to leave their full-time job and chase their dream. This young lady that I'm bringing up, um, she has championed her referral base and being a pillar in the community of Oklahoma. Without further ado, I want to introduce Ms. Shia Sumter. We make a living by what we give, but we make a life by what we give. So you have to give to receive, and like I said, you can totally build a 100% referral-based business if you're just out there giving value, you know, staying on your social platforms with information, you know, relevant, what's trending, you know. And um, as a realtor, <laughs> we have the um, privilege, I'll say, <laughs> to have to be the jack of all trades. We have to know um, the scope of the appraiser. We have to know the scope of the inspectors. We have to know the scope of the title company, even just so many different facets of this industry. We have to know. So um, you just want to know that stuff and, and, and add value to your people every chance you get. I'm going to give you two easy tips to follow up. So most of my business, well, all of my business, basically comes from social media, Instagram in specific. So one easy thing that I started doing early on is I turned on post notifications for all my clients and friends. Turn on post notifications for them. We get so much junk and spam and people popping up on our feed, you don't get the important stuff. So if you turn on post notifications for all your past clients, when, they, when a life event happens, guess what, you get notified. But also, guess what? You're the first one to like, comment on all their posts, so you're always top of mind, okay? So that's one thing. 
The other thing is I use a service called Client Giant. Have you guys heard of Client Giant? Um, so it's an amazing system and software. All you do is plug in all your clients' information, birthday, uh, home anniversary, all this other stuff. It sends, you a, it sends them a birthday box. It sends you a text on their birthday. It says, hey, we'll text this person this, okay? So um, you gotta put systems in, in place because again, we're extremely busy people. But let me ask you guys this. What were you doing at 24, 25? Right? Were you guys thinking about real estate? Were you, did you have it all figured out? No? No? Well, our next speaker at 2425, she's selling it. Can I hurt? Please hurt. Uh, that <laughs> <ton of> house. <laughs> um, <laughs> so without further ado, we're going to bring up Rachel Payne. Hope is not a strategy. Okay? We don't wake up one morning and say, I hope I can pay my bills today. Anyone else do that? No? I don't think so. Um, hope is not a strategy. You miss 100% of the shots you don't take. Wayne Gretzky, but it's by Michael Scott. We all know that, right? Yeah. Wow, one person, one person has the reference. No one else? <laughs> I've learned that people will forget what you said. People will forget what you did. But they will never forget how you made them feel. Ever. Ever. Everybody's a luxury answer in LA. And everybody's a luxury agent in LA. Well, let me ask you a question. Yeah? How much real estate in volume did you do last year? 32 million. Wow. Are you a luxury agent? I mean, I, I sell a lot of luxury property, but you, you know, I, 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 I help families, brother. Right? Yes, you do. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. <laughs> Who's up next then? I guess yeah. Cindy Keaton is going to tell us all what it takes to be a luxury agent. a luxury real estate agent but I do sell luxury real estate a lot of people you know can say that they have sold luxury real estate it's all the same it's all the same about how you take care of your clients how you market yourself so if you're not getting the results you want from real estate run it like a business run it like you don't want to eat ramen noodles the next month and I guarantee you that you will have better success I love this, the art of communication is the language of leadership. Again, I always tell my clients and my team that we wanna make sure that our clients are never guessing what the next step is. I don't care if they're a $1.5 million home or a $150,000 home. They all deserve the same treatment, the same respect, the same service. So that is my point is, we can all sell luxury real estate. You don't have to be a luxury realtor. It's all in your mindset. It's in the presentation. It's in your surroundings. And we can go and do it. Let's level up the luxury. If you ever looked in the mirror and you're enamored by what you're seeing, the reflection, right? You know that you're a forward thinker. You know, you know that you're a leader. You tell yourself these things, right? Well, that reflection has to be my brother. Right. Uh, I'd like to introduce newly crowned Dr. James Jonathan Ray Thornton. The first thing that we're going to need to do is train to fail. That's step one. Okay. And the acronym for this is TAM. And this is for anybody in this room right now. You're going to have to train to fail. The second thing that you're going to have to do is accept. Okay. And the, and the third thing you're going to have to do is multiply. All right, so it's a TAM, and a TAM is essentially a hat that you put on once you become a doctor in whatever field you choose to get in. It is a TAM, so we're gonna put our TAM on by the end of today, all right? So here we go, let's get started. So according to the National, National Association of Realtors, um, National Association, most agents will call it quits within the first, well, within the first two years, okay? That is a statistic, I did not make that up, so 99% of statistics are made up, but that is actual real statistic, all right? So, in the first two years, but within that first one to five years, 85% of them won't even sell a house, okay? Will not sell a house. So that is a staggering statistic, but is that, that's the truth. But what I'm gonna do today is teach you how to fight that reality. That does have to be your reality. But what I want you to know right now is, um, there's gonna to have to be action on your behalf if you want your team to grow. 
Everybody can put on a suit. Everybody can talk, and that is awesome. But at the end of the day, if you haven't made that decision for your team, and if you haven't developed a metric to identify if you've made that growth, then you are just spinning your wheels. When you, you truly will know that you've arrived, when, we, when people walk into your organization and they do not know who the leader is. Okay, let me say that again. You will know that you have arrived when people walk into your organization and they do not know who the leader is because you've trained them that well. No one's coming to save you. In real estate, no one's coming to save you, right? So you have to lead yourself. You have to be your own hero. So Mr. Fancy Pants has a whole bio here, so I'm gonna go ahead and read his bio. <laughs> so, so bear with me, guys. I, I nailed rock bottom, right? It's totally screwed up my life. I had an affair, lost my business, did everything I could to wreck my life to the point where I was on the floor getting ready to take my life. Because at that point, I really believed my kids and everybody else would be way better off if I just checked out. Right? At that moment, I had this, uh, this aha, you call it universe, I call it God. Um, it, it, it tapped me on the shoulder and said, nobody's coming to save you. Right? And it wasn't that nobody loved me or, or nobody cared about me. It was that the only person in the world that could save me at that point was me. Right? I had made choice. Right? So, so it, was like, it was this moment of you check out, right, which was the plan, or, or you're sticking trapped around and trying to figure it out.